We know he was 17, that he had just graduated from high school and was enjoying a day at the beach with his friends when he was killed. And there is only one remaining image of him. But today he's being remembered by people who want to make sure his death wasn't in vain. We create ceremonies that are healing rituals to help us define who we are. Some elders from the Bronzeville Historical Society have invited me to take part in a libation ceremony at the marker that serves as a monument to Eugene Williams. We know those thousands and thousands of people who face pain because of lynching, because of racism. And so for all of them, we say Ashe. Ashe means be with us an invitation for the ancestors to join the celebration. We recognize the tragic death of Eugene Williams, and yet too few have heard his name, Ashe. In the last few years, Black Americans have witnessed more terrible losses, and once again, felt incredible outrage. They've also seen some evidence that maybe times are changing. The former police officer, Derek Chauvin, guilty on all three counts. This nation, 100 years later, is responding to the murder of George Floyd in ways in which we should have responded to the death of Eugene Williams. But it's not enough. In Chicago, there's still this question of home. People can't thrive if they're forever denied a place to put down roots. So, Shaq, where are we now? Ah, uh, you don't recognize? This is, <laughs> this is Cabrini. This is the new gentrified neighborhood. So is this kind of like the invisible line yes. up ahead? This is the, yeah, the visible boundary of rich versus middle class and Section 8 folks, which they call it. Once you see Starbucks, you know it's going to change. <laughs> yeah, like, why, why didn't they put the Starbucks on the other side of the street? Right. I'm a duck and dumb <laughs> <laughs> What do you want people to know about the community here? Even through the struggle, there's still people striving for better because we're still here. This place is worth the fight. Chicago is a perfect example of why knowing history matters and how what happened 100 years ago has everything to do with what's going on today. Sadly, it seems like history really is repeating itself, and I just hope that it doesn't take another 100 years for things to change because there are already too many Eugene Williams. And to Shaq, we give the last word. Shout out to my city. We got to do better. Our babies won't survive if we don't. I want to see your child grow. I want to see you prosper. I want to see you do better. You can do better.